I am Leah Tubbs. I'm the founding artistic director of Mod Arts Dance Collective or MADC. And MADC holds space for BIPOC artists and communities through its choreographic work, festivals, concerts, residencies, and workshops. My name is Philip Santos Schaefer, and I am a playmaker creating interactive plays for small audiences where I get to bring people together around a topic or an activity or an idea and really lean into learning from each other. I'm Nicolás Tumit Esteves Raful Espejo Valles and I will be adding soon Morel to my last names. That's a very long name so you can call me Nicolás. I am a Lebanese Dominican, Dominican York, as in a Dominican from New York City, who in 2011 was baptized as a Bronxite, a citizen of the Bronx. And I have been living in New York City for more than three decades. I'm Ming, I use the term pronouns, and I am a Viet Polish immigrant artist um, based in NYC. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. First wanted to be an artist when in the third grade, my teacher came in and said, we're gonna sing La Vie Boheme from Rent. And we auditioned to have the solo. And during my audition, I cried because I really wanted to dance on top of a table. It just seemed so fun. And that was my first ever solo. I have subsequently learned that I shouldn't be a musical theater performer per se, but I think that what was exciting to me then and what is exciting to me now is the elevation outside of normal life, that you're really not supposed to dance on a table that's very transgressive, but actually it's so fun and so celebratory. And why can't we dance on tables? Why can't every table be a table that you might dance on at any given moment? And so I think that for me, my artistic practice and my artistic joy is to help reframe the world as a place where any table might be something someone's gonna dance on at any second. I was very fortunate to have parents who saw that I was very much a creative spirit and they took me to see the State of Alabama Ballet's production of The Nutcracker when I was three years old. And there was um, only one African-American woman out of the whole company of 20 to 25 company members. And I was enamored by her. She had um, brown skin, she had curly black hair like me. And I just remember following her as she took up space unapologetically on stage as Snow Queen. And after seeing the Nutcracker, I asked my parents if I could be her, if I could do what she did. And they enrolled me in uh, dance after that, a month after. And I've been dancing ever since. And I think because of seeing that one person who looked like me um, wanting to create an organization, a company that holds space for all people of color, for them to be seen and heard in a very accessible way. I think for me, art was always what I wanted to do. Um, and I come from a family of, of artists. I think, as, I think, I think also, um, everyone is an artist to a certain extent. We all love to perform, we all love to share to, in some sort of way. And I've always been inspired and uh, inspired by art. And I, I've always, th that was always the thing that brought me peace and joy and understanding. For me, it's a calling. And I usually say that the world is my studio and life is my medium. The title of my project is I Love the Way You Say Goodbye, A Celebration of Letting Go. And what I would like to do with this project is celebrate grief and celebrate the human capacity for mourning, which I think is beautiful and inspiring even as it's painful and sorrowful. I think that there is something to me about the resilience of our spirit that we are, after everything, still able to feel that feeling. That we're still able to feel grief after so much grief. Um, and at the same time, I think culturally, 
for me at least, not really able to talk about it um, and feeling it alone a lot of the time or with very small, one other person, two other people. And so I'm also excited in using this project as an opportunity to be celebratory, to say yes, and also to build the skill of being able to sit down with someone and be frank about grief and about mourning. I think that um, building that skill will help make it more possible to move through the world um, because it will be less alone. The project right now uh, is untitled um, and it's, it's going to focus on the themes of love and immigration. I'm interested as an immigrant myself in that experience in sort of how it shapes sort of how we create and choose to live our lives. And I also think about love, which I, as an artist, as a person, always try to lead with um, what and how our love um, moves and progresses and grows with the with the experience of moving, of time, of, of learning new things, of acquiring, you know, language and knowledge in this new language that then might change our understanding of, of how we love and how we interact with people. Um, and based on all those themes, I want to create um, a song cycle of sorts and a visual presentation that will share uh, some of my own thoughts and my own humanity along with uh, the beautiful community members at University Settlement of what we think love is and what we think moving does to, to us as people and how those two correlate. What I envision doing with communities in the Lower East Side, specifically with elders, seniors, entails writing letters to ourselves, letters to others, and letters in relationship to aging. What does it mean to grow older in the Lower East Side? And uh, beyond that, aging and beauty, aging and love, aging and family, aging and forgiving, forgiving ourselves and forgiving others. Me, we, a workshop, is going to be a more expanded um, program that we were super excited to offer to all teenagers ages um, 12 to 18. And it will be comprised of um, movement. It will be comprised of having these roundtable discussions as well as um, giving budding artists the breath to um, explore their own movement. Um, to draw that resonates with them and to um, to write as if that resonates joy with them. So it's really just holding space for these budding artists to um, remind them and allow them to realize that their voice does matter, they need to be seen and heard, and that they will change this world.